You hear that? Those are the sweet sounds of the Mario Brothers in combat. Because earlier this week, Nintendo dropped a bunch of new info on Mario and Luigi Brothership. Ahoy folks, and welcome to my first big analysis here on my channel. Ritz, get the magnifying glass ready, because we're about to comb through the new trailers, gameplay videos, and more for every detail we can find. So kick back, grab a snack, and let's dive right in. First up, we're going to take a look at the Greetings from Concordia trailer. And right off the bat, I just want to say I love how they're marketing this like a vacation style greeting card. It's really charming, and it actually kind of reminds me of Mario and Luigi Dream Team, which was also a vacation. Though, I think the circumstances we already know for the story of this game, it's not quite meant to be a vacation for the brothers. But anyway, this collage here seems to have a bunch of shots with different cutscenes. The top left is Luigi using the green shell bros attack. On the right seems to be Mario falling through the air, perhaps after being fired at an island, like we saw in the first trailer. Down here in the bottom right seems to be Luigi running away from something huge. Exactly what, we can't tell but it does make me wonder if something along the lines of giant battles could be back. Though, it's possible it's just a giant boulder that the bros are running away from or something. In the lower left, we see Mario is surprised by something, though Luigi looks kind of unfazed. Hard to say what they're looking at here. And up top, we see both brothers seemingly ready for battle. But taking a look inside the first shot of Concordia... Just before the scene fades away, we can see that there are some familiar enemies around from the first trailer and early screenshots. There's also a large boulder to destroy with hammers. It's blocking the way to a single question block. So hopefully there's something worth it in there. There's a closed up flower bud in the upper left, which probably needs to be opened so the brothers can use it as some sort of platform later on. But perhaps what's most notable here is this odd glowing grate along the bottom. Maybe the bros can burrow inside of it? Regardless, it's clearly interactable. Just the question is, how? Moving on to the second scene, we can see some sprout-like enemies. There's also plenty of flowers that the brothers can bounce off of for platforming, many of which we saw in the first trailer, but this is a completely different area, seemingly of the same island. Moving on to a desert oasis. The palm trees are styled like electrical cords, which isn't surprising, but is still pretty charming. There's a small lizard sticking to the rock over here, and there are six large blue enemies with purple lips. They have some sort of antenna on their head that looks like a shower head, which is even spraying water over them. Honestly, these enemies are pretty weird, but also pretty par of the course for Mario and Luigi. There's also these large cactus structures back here, both of which have question blocks inside. But can Mario and Luigi just walk inside, or would they need to burrow in? These openings do look a bit short, but without either Mario Brother on screen right now, it's a little hard to get a proper scale of everything here. Maybe it's not too tall, and Mario can just easily walk on in. In the very far right, there's also a bunch of platforms back here, and some sort of large gear, so there's probably some sort of puzzle to make these move, or to unlock them. And behind the cactuses, we can see even more of these closed flower buds, moving back and then off to the right, which are probably the path that needs to be unlocked to go in even more directions. Next up, we have a bunch of NPCs in a city. We've actually seen this area before, and presumably the exact same area from before is right up here. But the shot right now is an entirely new angle of the area, showing us even more of these characters in the city. But there's not much else to say about it here, so let's move on. Which brings us to the large maze that we saw in the first trailer. We can see a safe block just outside of the maze, as well as a sign by the entrance. There are some new mechanical bird enemies here too, but other than that, it's pretty similar to what we've seen before. The next shot, however, is entirely new. Some sort of small town or establishment on the first island filled with rocks that we saw in the first trailer. And there's a lot of NPCs here. It seems to be some sort of art exhibit, because many of them are dressed like artists. Even the nearby stones depict various art tools, like paintbrushes. There's an item shop over on the right, and an equipment shop just behind it. There's also a save block on the left back here, and a full heal block as well. We can also make out a pair of question blocks all the way in the back up here. And just outside of the town, or maybe on the outskirts of the town, is a pair of bridges that need to be lowered, though they don't look like they would connect when lowered. So the brothers might need to have some sort of ability to connect between them like the spin jump, for example. The having a blast shot shows Mario and Luigi running through a similar location, 
as we could see more stone art and NPCs dressed as artists. But there's not a lot happening here otherwise. So moving on, we have Mario and Luigi using the UFO ability again, which definitely seems to replace the spin jump. Though one could argue it basically is still a spin jump. It's just done a little bit differently. They're specifically in the desert town that we've seen before. There's a small opening down here on the right. Maybe the brothers can enter this building here? Or if we combine this with the idea of the cactuses from before, maybe Mario can get shrunken down like in other Mario and Luigi games, and he can use that to enter smaller areas. We've seen quite a few now that unless the brothers can shrink down, might be kind of hard to get into. We can also make out another one of those bird enemies just before the scene changes here. The next shot is another of using the UFO ability, this time in the volcanic area, and they're specifically crossing over a gap filled with lava. There's a question block on the right, but there's not much else to say here. The next shot has the brothers in an ice village. There's some sort of ice cream shop up here. It's got a special sign and an NPC right in front of it. And this NPC down here has something to talk about. Maybe they've got a side quest. And while this little icon is meant to look like a little smiley face, you know, to indicate, hey, go talk to them, I love that it still manages to look like an outlet. It's just clever design. Next, we have the quick shot of the brothers running in a grassy area. They're near a save block, but there's not much else to say here. It then cuts to a shot of Mario and Luigi on a different island. There's a small item shop stand back here, with 1-Up mushrooms for sale. And there's a bunch of NPCs that seem to be looking at something happening in the circular platform on the right. We can just barely make out some other shape here to the right, but we can't tell what it is. Though, we'll come back to this later. So, moving on to the seesaw clip where we see Mario holding a heavy statue to make himself heavier, which then catapults Luigi into the air. Presumably, this will let Luigi move off to the right. There's also this blue block up top, which I'm pretty sure is to rotate the seesaw. And down here in the lower left are some small boxes that can probably be destroyed with hammers. Next, we see Mario, Luigi, and Snoutlet at the entrance to the abandoned desert town filled with junk. There's a save block just at the entrance here, and there's another up top paired with a healing block, which might be placed before the boss of the area. This bird enemy is also holding an NPC, so maybe there's some sort of rescue mission here. Moving on, we see Mario and Luigi observing the volcanic island. There's a bunch of closed flower buds blocking the path ahead, and the same thing even further up. There's some question blocks off to the right, and a save block further up the mountain on the left. There's also platforms leading up to this mushroom-shaped building, and maybe that's significant. We'll come back to that later as well. The next three photos seem to be when Mario and Luigi land on the islands for the first time. There's the lava island, the ice island, and the desert island. So that does it for the trailer, but there is a little bit more here. The English tweet for the trailer actually confirms some of the island names, being Rumbla Island, Twisty Island, Lotta Coins Island, and Desolate Island. And we may even be able to tell which island is which, because this official Japanese article gives us more screenshots, footage, and more to work with. So first off, we get a closer look at this first island filled with artists, with some similar shots to the trailer, but some unfamiliar ones too. Though there's not a lot to say about them. Except, this might be Rumbla Island, because this does seem to be where we fight Gorumbla, after all, and that just kind of fits. Next up, we get to see Twisty Island. We can see that circular platform from earlier too, and there's many NPCs crowded around watching. The object from earlier that we pointed out seems like a bud or sprout of a plant that just isn't growing. There's a blue NPC to the right as well that looks pretty important, and they're wearing a special hat. We also get a look at Mario and Luigi, perhaps not long after landing here. They're wandering around with some sort of tree-based platform up ahead. My guess is they need to make this tree grow, and as it grows, it'll, well, twist, as the island name implies which would create a bunch of platforms in the process for them to climb up. The next island we see is the one filled with old buildings, and I suspect this is Desolate Island. According to the article, there are birds frequently kidnapping the island's residents here, so we probably do need to save them. The screenshots give us a look at some of the abandoned buildings, as well as some NPCs around a shop. Next, we've got the heavily populated City Island, which I bet is Lotta Coins Island. We can see at least three levels to the bridges connecting this apartment building. The buildings are also massive plugs, as we can see from the rooftops. The next screenshot is very interesting though. We see Mario on his own, with no Luigi in sight. 
There's a popcorn stand nearby, complete with yellow screws to go into the popcorn, I guess, and some other NPCs, but no Luigi. So does Mario get a solo segment here? And the next shot shows Mario and Luigi inside a building, perhaps an office building more specifically. There's a safe block on the left and a lot of NPCs. Some are standing in line to talk to the front desk workers, some are conversing with each other and sitting at tables, and this one on the back just looks dejected. What's wrong, buddy? You get rejected for a loan? Anyway, moving on to one of the coolest, or uh, hottest, islands here, because as it turns out, the Ice Island and the Volcanic Island are actually two halves of the same island. And there's some landmarks that we could see too. There's a snowman-like house on the left, and a volcanic-like version of it on the right, and a large lighthouse near the peak, which seems to be that mushroom-shaped building we pointed out earlier. This one is sort of a red magenta kind of color, and it's not the only one we see. In Desolate Island, there's actually a yellow one way up top back here. So maybe this is what we're working towards on each island, heading up to these lighthouses, as I assume they are. The question is, why? Anyway, specifically on this two-toned island, the ice side has some sort of rail-based puzzle. But how will the brothers cross this section? Is there a specific ability to cross these rails? Or does solving a puzzle spawn a platform? There's also a bridge up above that's stuck but a large button with Mario's M is right nearby, so maybe hitting that button will make the platform lower, which then works as a shortcut later on in the climb. And of course, we can see that exact same lighthouse from earlier back here. The lava side of the island, on the other hand, doesn't really tell us much in the screenshot, other than, yep, there's a lot of lava here, watch out. Okay, moving on from the islands and life around the islands, we're getting to battles. So let's talk about the combination attacks, which might be called something different in English, but this is what the website post gives us. As I theorized back in my original Game Explained analysis, these are indeed the standard jump and hammer abilities, with a little bit extra. While they'll be closer to the standard attacks we all know and love if only one brother is available, they otherwise have the two working closely together for these action commands. So Mario's combo jump has the Asha commands in order of A for Mario, B for Luigi, then A for Mario to land the second hit. Likewise, Luigi's combo hammer starts with B, then Mario hits A, and if both are nailed, Luigi spins in for a ton of damage. And we can see that how the brothers execute these combo attacks are different, since we saw Mario's combo hammer in the first trailer. As an aside, can we talk about how this battle is just casually in an office building? Like, what's going on here? The enemy level is also 15, so if we assume that should reflect about the same level the brothers should be at, then this is a decent way into the game, and not super early. Of course, we also get a good look at a brand new bros attack here, Thunder Dynamo, as the Japanese page calls it, and it costs 7 BP. This attack hits all or most enemies. Mario and Luigi alternate hitting the A and B buttons to push the levers on each side. There's also the X button down here, perhaps to launch the attack early if they don't finish it before the timer ends. We also get to see this action block that looks like a plug, which I'm sure is tied to these ones down here, but we're still not exactly sure what they do. This also gives us a look at the end of battles. We can see the individual EXP given to each brother, and the total coins earned. The EXP bars are again represented with flagpoles for each brother, and it's a very charming screen as a whole. I actually really love this. The Thunder Dynamo ability looks pretty interesting, and has me excited to see what other kind of bros attacks we're gonna get, especially with how dynamic these new camera angles are. Also, it feels like a great throwback, Luigi getting to use Thunder again. I mean, we haven't had that since Superstar Saga, even though this seems a bit different than back then. It's still nice to see that he's still got Thunder tied to his name, in some way. And if we know that Mario has the red shell while Luigi has the green shell, Thunder Dynamo is specifically Luigi's bros attack not Mario's, and that's pretty nice. Finally, we've got more on the extension cores. We can see that they're the reason the bros fight the plant boss from the first trailer. We also have this ominous cutscene of the three of them receiving orders from another character, who we also saw in the first trailer. Honestly, we still don't really know what these villains are up to, but they're clearly causing problems on multiple different islands. And with that, that's everything I could find from all of the new info on Mario and Luigi Brothership. I am seriously very excited about this game, and the more we see of it, the harder the wait gets. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this analysis, please leave a like. 
And if I missed something you noticed or you have thoughts on this analysis, please let me know down in the comments. And of course, make sure to subscribe for plenty more gaming goodness from me. Whether it's more analyses, game previews, reviews, more on specifically Mario and Luigi Brothership, and plenty more. Any support helps out a ton. But until next time, farewell everyone.